guys welcome back to my channel it's me Cory and it's again another pen video pen talk thoughts and I got this um, idea from pen and tease she she uploaded a video a month ago about uh, her least favorite pen so uh, I was also thinking of grabbing mine that way I can also think about letting them go or you know thoughts and what are your opinions so these pens are it doesn't mean that i i don't love them anymore it's just that as time goes by i don't i have some reasons and stories for each pen why i i'm thinking of letting them go so let's go to the first one let's just go from okay top to bottom so the first pen that is my least favorite is the Twisby, I mean least favorite now category is the Twisby Vac Iris. So the reason one is that I don't navigate, in, I mean grabbing this so much now because the Vac feel, I have one this which is uh, custom 823 but also it's very huge and Although I love the way it writes, it's um, I've seen that they made the 580 model of the Holo, the Iris. So I mean the the same thing, but it's in the 580 model, which I was hoping to have that size before, but I already have this. It's launched a year after, and also the cup is a bit already like not that clear anymore so it's showing more of the plastic you know the plastic when it's turned yellowish it's going to that uh, color now um, it has some few scratches here and there if you can see these are all my first pens that I had and I still don't know how to take care of them <laughs> so yeah I'm thinking of um, selling this or you know because I want the 581, um, the size and overall it's uh, writing because I have a 580 and I really love that. I just got this for the the design and, and, and I found out that it's really huge. So this is next to my Benu and these two are my largest pen. Okay, so this is the first pen that I want to, I mean my least favorite second is for i think you okay let's do the demonstrator then it's another demonstrator pen it is also my in the category of my least favorite because i don't use it anymore i use this for my emerald de Chauve or the jacobin inks uh, shimmer inks this is the noodlers ink uh, noodlers ahab nib so it has a flex on it but see um the shimmers are stuck there i don't know i know i'm not cleaning it properly i haven't placed this in my ultrasonic cleaner yet and it has a different um, ink mechanism i think yeah this is still a converter but with this type so i once it once was stuck in my sink so it's a bit of a hassle and that Part. you need to put it inside and lastly I got this because it's green but although I was warned that there's an annoying certain smell until now to it's still there it's almost two years but I've air dried this and all and also it's in the silver hardware so I'm, I'm more of a gold or rose gold so it's it felt like it's a I just got this because of the flex before I was still learning the kind of nibs and this was the available at that time I don't know any other flex nibs that I can that's in of the same price range so this is one of my least favorite now and another half demonstrator I believe <laughs> it can be seen is the Opus 88 mini so I was in doubt to include this in my least favorite because of that it's really cute and i really love it i'm so sorry for all the construction noise guys as you can see but then again this was my only my second option because i really love that coffee theme 
design it's a collaboration with opus 88 mini i forgot who's the designer but it's not available here so i got this just for the sake of having and having to feel the opus 88 um, mini i know they have that big one but uh, it's too large for me and the ink capacity as well this one is an ef and the writing experience is really good it's an eyedropper pen my one and only eyedropper pen and I have no complaints with this pen it's just that it doesn't post it see it's it's coming off so that's one thing and I didn't really know about that so this was also purchased without doing some full thorough research that's the reason why so yeah this now belongs to my least favorite but I'm still thinking of selling it or not because um, this is my one and only opus 88 pen however if somebody can trade in with that coffee design i'm really really willing to get it so yeah this is like i can live without it for now okay and then the second to the last pen that i don't uh, navigate much anymore but still in doubt if i am to sell this or not is the kaweko student soul 70 soul it's in EF and I think I've shared this so many times in my videos that it's the gold has tarnished I mean it's faded it's become not the same as what as it was before compared to the nib I don't know if the camera can catch that but the nib is more gold and even here so I think there is something wrong with the material there were some plastics coming off and then when I took it off it's become matte gold or should I don't know how it's pale gold now and yeah this is my one and only Kaweko that is not the pocket size so again let me know if I am to let this go because I it's 50 50 I love this for the color and the design and you know it's also um, difficult to get here but yeah I don't um grab this anymore i might use this for my june ink so to test if i still love it or not <laughs> nib wise it's an ef but yeah german ef so i have to test it again let's see last but not the least is the kaweko red uh, sport the regular red this i think i have not even ink this or i'm not sure if i've inked it once but it's in gold a classic sport the reason why it's my least favorite is i don't love this kind of red you know it's really bright red um like the retro red i'm looking more of the red that is uh, on the deeper side like a burgundy wine red so i know i've seen this in the picture but it's i was just shocked that it's really really almost close to orange red so that's why it's my least favorite um maybe i put this out during christmas you know that type of season only so yeah these are my five least favorite pens now that um i'm thinking of letting go or no but I don't mm, use them anymore and yeah it's just that uh, it's very difficult to choose I have around 50 or 60 pens I always love what I buy but eventually you will these are first few pens that I got as when I when I was starting the, this hobby so um, now that uh, I know what I want already for pens and you know it's more of quantity and uh, no quality than quantity so these are like yeah i can live without this but let me know guys if you also have le your least favorite pens and what you're gonna do about it i don't know in in this community here in indonesia um i have tried selling one last year metropolitan pilot metropolitan and the uh, natami um i forget the chinese brand but it's it's very difficult unlike in the u.s or in the in canada that you can just you know easily post and then you get it sold so here i'm not sure but maybe in the philippines <laughs> so yeah these are into in the back of my case already like um 
yeah i'm making room for new ones so this one will be set aside but let me know if you're interested though because i don't know the shipping but yeah these are my least favorite pens if you do have your own least favorite pens uh, you can also share it in the comment section if you don't have any youtube channel or i can check your channel as well but yeah that's it for our pen talk for today and i hope you can subscribe to my channel and do like this video and i'll see you in my next one bye